Hello YouTube, back again with another video. Today I got the iPad mini 6th generation in space gray. It's 64, yeah, again 6th generation. This is the base model, so no 5G, just the Wi-Fi. And I have the, I, have, I already have the Apple Pencil, so I'm not going to be unboxing that. And we're going to be testing with it. And yeah, man, let's just get right into the video. There's a pull tab right here. You can see that. She takes that off. Let me put that to the side. And yeah, as you can see right here, it says mini and cursive. And yeah, just regular plain, you know, Apple box, nothing too special. There's that. Oh yeah, this is the feels like paper now. They're trying to be environmentally friendly now. Well, I'll see what's inside here real quick. Just that iPad mini, Apple stickers, and then just a quick start guy. Put that back. And then, oh, it, it actually comes with a power brick and a cable this time, not like the phones. Uh, type C to Type C, so they did um, replace the Lightning with Type C now, which is really good because Lightning is kind of really old, and I like to have one cable for all. And yeah, let's just put this away. Let's turn it on. I'll leave this right here. It is 20 watts. If you're curious about that, yeah. Let's see. It. This is space gray. Let's put that to the side. You can see, you can probably see the light have a light there, and I have a little light there. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's turn it on. It does have, it doesn't have no face ID, but it does have a finger fingerprint, which is um, which you know, whatever you like or prefer. But and, you know, we are in COVID, and we do wear masks a lot, so fingerprint is very useful. This is where you place the Apple Pencil, and the volume goggles are actually right here on the top. This is the camera on the, you know, this way. That's pretty much it, man. No um, three pin connectors for like accessories, but that's okay. Cause this is really small. As I said, type C, let's power it on. Oh. Swipe up, English, United States, quick start guide, auto finger. Okay, welcome back YouTube, it just finished. You have to unlock it, here's your touch ID, there you go. You can also just press the button. And you should hope you keep your hold there. It will unlock it. But yeah, I transferred everything. Didn't even have much stuff in my iPad. I basically just used um, Mobility, Moon Fusion, and Procreate. And just games and stuff. But what I do want to see is, let me put the brightness up. That's the max brightness. I don't know how well that transfers in video. I believe with it has the same much as the iPad 4 Air, iPad Air 4, which is 500 nits for peak brightness. And yeah, they recently added low power on um, the iOS 15 for the iPads. For some reason, only the um, iPhones have another iPad, but they finally added this. So this definitely will help you extend your battery if you know those days come. But yeah, let me get my Apple Pencil. I actually want to test out the writing. I do want to get a my back screen cover, but we'll see when that comes. So I just put the pencil here. Yeah, basically the whole pencil. Loads. There it's synced. Yeah, man, it feels it's so like cool how it's like as small as the thing. And this is the reason why the volume buttons are on the top instead of the side because they can't really put the bottom in. Usually, most cases have this thing like this, so you won't be able to use those. So that's how they move the top. USB Type C, as you can see there. You know, let's check this out. Yeah, there you go. Type C, Type C. In the bottom. You know, finally, nice upgrade. 20 watt power adapter. No, nothing too crazy, not too fancy. Just can do what you need, what you want, and. 
Yeah, let's actually test up some notability. See how well it is to draw. And it might be kind of hard because I'm really... Oh, it's all syncing together. Alright, everything downloaded, so let's just open a new one. Just wanted to make sure that was done, but... Yeah, man. I think you could take pretty good notes here, so... Easy to... Excuse my handwriting, I have pretty bad handwriting. I got the new art place. I really don't know what else to spell with, you know. But yeah, I mean, I feel like it's good. And if you want the whole page, don't want to be zooming in, zooming out. And I know Notability has uh, this thing right here. You just scale it right here, how big you want it. So let's say I want it this big, bring this up here. You do the same thing, like, oh, a little bit more higher. A little bit more higher. There you go, you can just be like, make this a bit bigger. And there you go, you can be pretty, like, solid here by just doing this, like, um, oh, I forgot. Okay, so then you can move this and then you can put like B and then it'll go automatically. So I know notability. You know, once you do that, you go there, you go there, and then it goes to the next line. But if you think it's like that's how you can make your experience better. But even like just zooming in, zooming out, um I usually use it like that on my other iPad older iPad so I'll probably just use it like this because it's good enough like this for me so yeah I don't I think it's pretty good to write and also since hold on also since you can you can basically one one grab this I mean I don't have that big of a hand spell they're also not that small um you can also one you know grab this use it as a notepad real quick like you know one two three four five six Six, seven. I don't know why I put a seven there. Probably because I saw the seven. Um, yeah, I mean, there's even like the quick notes. You can hold it this way, put the pinky in the bottom. You know, like check down someone's number. If you want, just like around the number here. Just three, two, three, two, three. And, oh, you can erase it. And then you can do, you know, another number or something. Or, you know, you want to write down something, you know, you have like a meeting or whatever. Write it down there, write it down there, you know, like 12. 30 a.m. and it does transfer there. I forget how you can. Um, oh, let me just scribble that out here, and then yeah, well, even with the keyboard, it's a pretty good keyboard size to fit in the pen. Come on, there you go. Uh, just go another dog, and I know you can do this thing too. You can spit it. So if you if you can type like this, and then it's over. But I'm not really used to typing like this, so I have to like all the time you know where the keys are. But I mean, if you get used to, it, you probably could be really quick with this. It's a bit keyboard, or if you already know keys. But I like it. Come on, merged and dock right there for create. Don't mind my drawings. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this is for school, so I guess we'll open. Let's open one of these. And yeah, this is how it looks in Procreate. You know, Procreate is pretty solid, pretty optimized for everything. So this is how it looks. I, th I still think you can still draw really good on this. Again, I like the one hand motion, doing portraits, doing whatever. You know, I think it's still really good size. You also have, let's actually see how multitasking works since it is a smaller display. Uh, I mean, drawing is really pretty hard, so you're probably gonna wanna have this. What the fuck is that? Let me sign in. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the drawing here is still pretty substantial, good enough. And if you just want to, you know, oh, did the wrong thing there. If you just want to, you know, um, 
I just want the other way around. There you go. You can do it like this. You can just get out the way and then bring it back when you need to. All right, let's open up the Safari. What's good about Safari? It's on the full desktop experience. They do give you the automatically give you the desktop experience. Oh. See, and then you you can request mobile if you want to. But again, it's like really good, you know. One handing, put the pencil to the side. The one hand, very good size. It looks nice, clean. Go back to the regular. You can even one hand this if you want to, since the bezels are good enough to hold. Hopefully your palms won't hit it all the time. Oh, there's the users app. But yeah, let's let's actually add another one. Let's see how that looks. Use a Kickstarter. And then you just use Apple. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty fine. It's good enough. This just seems like a phone in this size right here, like a small, small, tall phone. This looks like a good, good size. I mean, I think it's, I think it's fine. Everything is a good size. It's good enough for me, at least for what I'm going to use it. You know, if you're going to use it, if you want your iPad to replace your laptop, you probably don't want this size. You probably want to go for one of the bigger ones. I'm trying to fucking, there you go. I'm trying to remove this. Oh, oh, whatever. But yeah, if you're going a more desktop experience, you definitely want to go for a bigger one, one of these. But it's actually one. I actually want to see a YouTube video. So let's walk one up and see what's in there. I can't go to subscriber because it's not signed in. All right. Let me like that. Oh, you need to continue. All right. Let's see here. See how videos looked on here. Let's put the speakers full blast. Okay, welcome back to our YouTube video. High resolution. Today we got a sling bag from the company. This is what it comes with. Take a picture. Yeah, I mean the video looks great. Of course, it's bigger than your phone. And Speaker looks nice. Like this USB for things. But it's just advertisement for this. I was to put it like this. Let's um. Probably put this one. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think content looks really good in the screen. I wonder if you can see that. Also, a great video. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is what I wanted when I first bought an iPad, but it just hated the old iPad design, and it wasn't also Type C. It was still Lightning, but this new reamp, especially with the new pencil, what the not new, but second gen pencil with that magnetic, you know, charging and holding place, it's, it's very convenient, very smart. It's like 10 times better than the old one where you had to charge it like this. It's kind of dumb. But yeah, this is my hands on unboxing video. And if you um, have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll answer as best as I can. And yeah, peace.